Hey, my name is Bart Barker and I'm currently the Public Information Officer with Wilson County Schools. I uh, graduated Middle Tennessee State University back in 2003 and from there I was at an ABC affiliate in West Tennessee at uh, WBBJ for about three years then went to a TV station in the Midwest for about another five years. Those were sports backgrounds and then I switched over back to news uh, after that stop to come back to West Tennessee and then prior to this role I was with WKRN News 2 in Nashville for three years in a news role there as well. So again it's all of those jobs jobs that I had prior to this, I uh, learned a lot to uh, do what I do today, which is the Public Information Office with Wilson County Schools. What I do on a daily basis is no two days are ever the, the same. Information that needs to go out to our parents and students, important district announcements, uh, whatever the case may be, um, that information comes to me, then I formulate the message, and then I send that out to our families or whoever needs to know. It may not be an entire district-wide announcement that needs to be uh, sent out. It may be just going to a cluster of schools or an individual school, I'll handle that. Uh, I operate all our social media platforms. Um, that's part of my daily duties to try to keep people up to date on everything that's going on. You know, if you're wanting to go into a field that involves public relations, marketing, broadcast journalism, or something along those lines, I can't stress it enough. Uh, your writing skills. Uh, just hone those as much as you can throughout your high school career. As far as classes, anything that is uh, public speaking involved, those are always great. Uh, of course, your AV classes, you're going to learn a lot there. Anything that involves a communication role uh, in these classes, but I, I will say your English classes, if that is something, if you want to go into the the, the communications field, I can't stress it enough. English is going to be very, very important, and especially that writing. You know, the technology has changed so much uh, over the years. If you know, if you're watching this, uh, just imagine a day where we didn't have cameras on our cell phones and those sorts of things. Well, that was what was happening right before you were born. And uh, but now that I can think about when I first got into TV business, we didn't have cameras on our cell phones. And it, in fact, it was thought that using cell phone video or pictures was kind of a tacky element for TV news. Now it's relied upon uh, because how we consume information has changed so much. It's not like you're going home every day to watch the news at 6 and 10 or 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. No, you are getting that largely through social media platforms. So there are so many things that students, if they can get a competitive edge from the digital standpoint, uh, and it doesn't have to be just just broadcast related. Any field that you go into, uh, if you can have a competitive edge from the technical standpoint, it's only going to do you so many more favors and make yourself more marketable and more valuable in the job field down the road. What intrigues me the most, I would say for me, it is the fact that no two days are ever the same. You know, there's, there's so many moving parts to a public school district, and we are a large school district, so it amazes me to know that in a given day, how many pieces go into this big engine to make it operate. And uh, much respect to our administrators, to our teachers for all that they do. It's been a difficult past year for a lot of reasons, but uh, the intriguing part even goes further because uh, not only am I able to communicate with administrators and teachers, but also uh, law enforcement officials in our community, community leaders, uh, those sorts of things. And it, it really, it, there's so many aspects about uh, safety for our schools, uh, community leaders who want to see the best for our schools. And I feel like I got a small part of piece in that to help show what we're doing in our schools and how we're, we're doing things and, and share that with the world to know that some great things are happening with Wilson County Schools.